Praise Him. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Look, oh, the Holy Spirit has moved me over here. Holy Spirit, have your way. Hallelujah. Listen, guys, who said God was mad at you? God's not mad at you. People get mad at you and will not forgive you, but God is never mad at you. Disappointment, yes, <laughs> but never mad. Disappointed in me, disappointed in you. When we mess up, when we know better, right? We got the Holy Spirit power. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength, right? Praise God. So, um, when you know that you have the Holy Spirit power, and you know, we're going to mess up. This is why Jesus came. But when you know you got the Holy Spirit power, as Philippians 4.13 says back there on my wall, and in my Bible here, and in your Bible, um, New King James Version, Nelson Study Bible I'm working out of, is that you know you got the power to overcome anything, any darkness of sin that comes your way from the past and tries to get with you in the present today. Because Jesus died he got through what he went through. He overcame death, which means we can overcome death later. But for now, we can overcome addiction, anger, lust, hopelessness, depression, anxiety, fear. I just came back from um, a local place here in town. Everybody's got masks on. They got things uh, all uh, you know taped off. Why? Because they live in fear. Not disrespectful or anything. But if they were in their word, they would know that a parachute not opening at 10,000 feet and you hit the ground, they walk away. Why did they walk away and didn't die? Because it wasn't your time. God's not going to allow you, as you're a Christian brother or sister, while you're serving the Lord, He's not going to allow any disease, any parachute not opening, take a car accident, this, that, and the other, any diseases to take you home before it's time. These people are living in fear, which means they're not in their word. They're in darkness, and they're in the world more than their word, or they would know what I just spoke of, and to fear nothing. Fear not is a commandment from God, not a request like, hey guys, don't fear. He's saying, fear not, because you have nothing to fear. Death has been defeated. Everything else has. They said it's COVID, right? Or, you know, look, everything is COVID. Somebody goes in there with a broke ankle, they call it COVID. Someone chokes on a chicken bone, they say he died from a COVID. Uh, it's ridiculous because they've made this a money-making thing like the world usually does because the world's God is Lucifer, which is the which is about money and greed, and you know, that's what it's all about. So you got to understand everything's not COVID. Uh, you know, there's other things you've got to worry about more than COVID. Um, and then as a Christian believer, you have nothing to worry about. All your fears should be laid down, but you're in darkness because you're not in your word. You're in a dark world that promotes fear and wear a mask and tape off sections of your store. It's fear, fear, fear. Just what Satan wants you to focus on. This pen represents fear. He wants you focused on fear and not God Almighty in heaven. Focus on fear and you will if you ain't in your word. Get in your word. Focus on the God and get on your on your way and live a free life of not wearing a mask and running to vaccinations. Jesus Christ is our vaccination. His blood runs through us when we receive Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit of God. But God is not mad at you for being in fear. He's not mad at you for not reading your Bible. He's not mad at you. And he's just waiting for, you know, when we sin. He loves the sinner. He hates the sin. We mess up. We repent in Jesus' name. Repent. Jesus, wash me clean of my sins. And you're forgiven. Just like that. It's like throwing a rock bloop, into the ocean and it's bottomless. God never, and, and that's our sin. God never sees it again. It keeps going and going and going. When God looks at us now, when you repent, all he sees is Jesus Christ's blood on us, man. Repent, then pray. Stop living in fear, though. That's the another key of this message is uh, what I was supposed to speak on. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Is that nothing can take you away from here before it's your time. And they promote fear to go to this vaccination, to wear a mask, lots of money, ching, 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 ching. You go to the hospital. A man, I first saw this a long time ago, died of dementia. They put on his death certificate, COVID, because they get paid, ching, 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 for COVID deaths. They get paid, ching, 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 for everybody that has COVID. So what? When you walk in there with a broke ankle, a little cough, a sneeze, guess what? You got COVID. <laughs> it's a joke, man. It's fear of the Satan system, Lucifer the loser, and it's foolishness, man. They're trying to push you into mask wearing, six feet apart, all satanic worship rituals, man. That's what they're trying to push us Christians into being. Satanic worship worshipers, uh, uh, Lucifer's uh, worshippers, six feet apart because he likes 666. I used to be scared of that number, but now it's like, are you kidding me? He's been defeated by uh, Jesus at the cross. Foolishness is what 666 equals to me today. Hallelujah. Fear not, everybody. And remember this, the moral also to this story and this message from the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is God, my brothers and sisters who ain't reading their word, they've packed it up. You got dust on your Bible. 
Um, you haven't talked to Father God in a while. You haven't repented, and you're living in darkness right now. You might be running to things that ain't good for you, smoke, drink, what, whatever it is. Run back into Father's arms like the prodigal son. Father God is always waiting there with a, his arms wide open. I, I was going to do wide. <laughs> wide open for me and you to run back into. Look, Satan will say, you're bad. You sinned against Jesus and God, and you keep doing it over and over again, and he, don't, he won't forgive you. Look, guys, God loves you unconditionally like any good parent. Jeffrey Dahmer, his father, still loved him after what he did, them horrible acts of being demon-possessed that he hurt those people. His father still loved him. That doesn't define who his father was. His father raised him good. But the whole thing is, man, he still loved his son. And I don't think we've come close to doing that kind of harm to people. Whatever you're doing out there, just lay it at the cross, man. Jesus, wash me clean from my sins. Name them out if you remember them. If not, if you forgot some, say, forgive me for all my sins. I want to come back close to you, Father God. The only way to the Father is through Jesus. And God turns a deaf ear to sinners' prayers, so he's not hearing your prayers until you repent. Then pray. Sorry. Then pray. Wash me clean, Jesus. I ask for forgiveness. Then pray. Repentance. Then pray. Okay? You got it? Get it? Get it? Got it? Good. Hallelujah. Real simple message. God is never, ever, ever, brother of mine says he's sick of hearing me say sorry. No. He gets he gets hurt and angry when you don't say sorry and you think you can walk around sinning and carrying that heavy weight. He left, he left Jesus to go die on a cross for me and you so you can ask for forgiveness. And when you don't use that beautiful gift, a free gift of repentance and salvation, that repentance, right, that we can ask for forgiveness anytime. I'm a Christian. I'm not perfect. I'm just forgiven. I don't carry around heavy weights of sin all day long. I sin, boom, repentance, pick up the cross, and we push it on. And now I'm praying for everybody because I want to be righteous. I want to be good in God's eyes for when emergencies happen throughout my community, my family, friends, and even my enemies need a prayer I'm going to be ready to pray because God's going to hear my prayer because I'm not perfect, but I'm forgiven. And I ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness and run back into your daddy Yahweh's arms. All right, Father God Almighty, run back into his arms, okay? Praise the Lord. He's just waiting for you. Up there like this. Man, he's got to be looking at Jesus going, man, what are they doing, right? Praise God. Just ask for forgiveness and it shall be given to you. He loves you unconditionally like any good parent or guardian should love his children. We all make mistakes. We all fall down, but you can't stay down and roll around in sin. we got to get back up and dust all that dirty sin off in repentance. And now the lights come back on and you run into your father's arm and get that big, big hug. Squeeze from Father God in heaven. Peace be with you. I love you. Holy Spirit driven message again, y'all. I'm just along for the ride. I'm in the car, but he's driving. Jesus, take the wheel. Hallelujah. Guys, I love you very much. Stop what you're doing. Trying to cover up that heavy weight of sin you're feeling. Smoking, drinking. And that invites demons, more demons, and more sin into your life. It's getting darker and darker and heavier and heavier. But God's right there to put the light on you and pull all that heavy weight off of you. Wash you clean like on a hot summer day at the basketball court at work. You go into your shower and get washed clean. Let the blood of Jesus wash you clean in repentance. And now pray and tell Father, hey, I missed you. I'm sorry. And I love you. And I'm back. What do you need me to do? Holy Spirit, have your way in my life. Let God lead your feet to where you need to be, to what you need to be doing, and what you need to be speaking on a daily basis. Wherever you work, wherever you go, wherever you stay, that's exactly where you're supposed to be. And the people in your circle need to hear a message from God. Holy Spirit, Invite him into your life. Have your way. You struggle. Holy Spirit, come in here. Help me. Wisdom, come in here. Give me an answer. Whatever it might be, it's God's very presence living within you. Hallelujah. Peace be with you. Ask for forgiveness and you shall receive. You receive not because you ask not. Put the heavy weight of sin down. God loves you. He's waiting for you. Father's waiting for you. Hallelujah.